Good morning, and welcome to another video. Another little work video. So we've got this lovely little motorhome to work on today. A nice little sunlight, semi-integrated. Uh, it's a lovely little van. <coughs> got a 3650 chassis. Yeah, 3650, not bad. Right for up plating. Uh, have we got? Yeah, th oh, it's a three and a half ton on the, the coach building side. Yeah, very nice. So we start with the exterior, just make sure we've got no issues on the exterior of the van. So it's already gone to the garage, so it's had new tyres. This little flat there, the hook up. It's all okay. Check the terminals. And yeah, nothing burnt there, that's good. Fiamma. The keys. Okay, that's the first problem. I haven't got a key for that. Okay, I'll have to find the key for that. <coughs> yeah, that's all nice. That's what that's all. Signs of water in there. I need a light, you can't see. Neither can I. Where's my light? Ah, there we go. Oh, look, you get a spare little uh, 240 socket thing there. Nice. Yeah, all good. Oh, that's just that's just wet where that bottle's been, I think. Yeah. signs of any water leaks or anything which is good all looks good under there <coughs> okay let's have a little look let's see if these clips work No, <laughs> and it's a new new stay. Uh, yeah, looks like it's hitting the bumper as well. Okay, let's sort that out. Probably a new stay. We'll have to probably change that for a different one. It's not got quite enough standoff. I've already um, already carried out a damp check of this vehicle, and it is all okay. Okay, okay. Oh, we got in here. Oh wow, socket. Yeah, nice. Heater's in there, I can just about see that. Everything looks good. Nice little shelf there. Got me awning, awning winder. Get that out for later. I will note that stay. I've got a few amount locks as well, right? Okay, we've got the key for them, I believe. Everything looks good on the outside. I'll check the bike back in a minute. All right, this one, this door, does this work? Yeah, sort of. Not great, I'll probably replace that one as well. Gas lock is massive. Look at that. It's huge. Open that. Oh, 
No ad blue, it's good to see. Bike is open. Oh, we got down here. Uh, we have the electrical system. Oh, looks good. We'll check that a bit later. I've already checked all the cab parts. I did that last night. Uh, we did notice have a chip on the windscreen, so that is getting replaced today. And we need a bit more coolant because it's had, I believe, it's had a water pump. We, when we do the cam belts, it's always best to do the. Oh, can I get that off there? Uh, yeah, I can. It's always best to do the water pump as well. Whilst you're in there, it's worth doing, so we always generally do them. Oh, looks good under here. It has, it has already been to the garage anyway, so it's had its mechanical check. I'll put some more coolant in that in a second. Brake fluid is good. Washers would have already been done. All right, so we have solar on this vehicle. I'm just going to check what is coming in. Ah. DC, out, bang me head. Got coming in. Yeah, so we've got one amp, one amp coming in. So the solar is working. We have, it's not particularly sunny at the moment and the battery is, ooh. In all fairness, it's probably relatively full, so we will deactivate that in a second so that we can do a proper test on the leisure battery. Yeah, so we'll pop a bit of cardboard over the solar panel um, just to simulate night conditions and then I can put the battery on like a full stamina test if you like. Uh, I have also noticed this clip needs doing as well. It seems to want to stay, it's not very willing. So we'll go and check the bits on the roof. It's a full uh, GRP overskin on these. You gotta be a little bit careful when standing on roofs of some motorhomes, but these ones are okay. Let's check the solar panel is secure. There. Uh, just checking all the everything on the roof, make sure it's all secure, nothing's hanging off. up here it's good there you go that will simulate night time Point nine. That's just a little voltage meter in the auxiliary socket, little charging socket. All right, let's get all the lights on, get everything on. Let's see what we pull. So the charger there. Obviously nothing will be coming in now because there's a box over it. 
There goes the satellite. Right. Probably not going to start because I haven't pulled the gas through yet. Might do. I'll turn it off. Let's make sure we have actually got gas coming in. Is this auto igniter? No. Pull the gas through. Oh, nothing's going on. Is it all switched off? Do we have no gas? It would appear that we have no gas. Schoolboy error, just realising there's actually the gas bottle's empty. Check it with this. Yep, no gas. And while we're here as well, I can see like this. Needs a new gas hose, rubber gas hoses get replaced every five years. Or to be fair, even if they're like four years, we'll replace them. So yeah, I'll replace that while we're here. Gas is pulled through now, so I should be able to check all of the gas appliances. Before I do that, I am going to top the water tank all the way up and check that we've got no leaks from the inlet or any any other poor part of the water tank. So we get the fresh put in. And then we can also run the water heater as well on the heating. It's a bit warm today to run the heat in, but we'll give it a go. Yep, as you can see, water coming in now. No leaks, which is all good. We'll, um, we'll take the tank, absolutely brim the tank full, just to make sure we've got no leaks on the top of the tank or anything. Also check the water level function as well, while we're there. Now, just coming up to on a level. Right now we've got to find the frost valve which is in here. It's boxed in there. Get that blood out in a second. Yeah, that level's working. All right, water tank is brimmed. As you can see, we've got a little bit of water leak there. I think that's coming from, yeah, it's coming from the, uh, like this is where you empty the tank. This is the control. It's got a little bit of a leak from that. It didn't feel very good either, anyway, so I'm guessing there is an issue with that. So I think we'll probably have to look at either repairing or replacing that. But that's why we fill the tanks right up, because at the end of the day, that's what the customer's going to do. Uh, and it has got a tiny little leak. Nothing too serious, but probably have to look at doing something with that. So we've got heating hot water on the gas. That is on. We have all of the gas rings on full, we have the oven on full, fridge is obviously on gas as well, yep, on gas. I'm going to check the gas pressure. Yeah, yeah we still, that's good. Uh, 10 to 20, 30, yeah, 30 millibar, so we're not dropping any, any pressure there, so that means the regulator is good. Right, let's check 
thermocouples on like this and that one two three that's the fourth a little click on the fourth as well just the thermocouples if any of this goes out uh, the thermocouples will actually switch the gas off so we should if I turn these back on now we shouldn't have any gas coming out no gas there yeah that's it there. so that is all good another little bit that needs repair I was just trying to work that and just realised that it's had a previous somebody's tried to repair it might have um might have had some water in it and a bit of frost has popped it out and then essentially broken it so that's going to need a whole new tap that one how many chap and shower some of this there's one handy there we go One point seven amps, two hundred and thirty volts coming in. We will check the sockets. Make sure we haven't got any issue. Make sure we have no issue there. Yeah, that's good. That's another thing I need to do as well. I have to note that. So I'll go around and check all the sockets. Turn that back on. Should go automatically to hook up. There we go. The water's just come up on that, so I know that the fridge has just come on, and that is working properly. 2.6 amps. I right, now put this on. Turns the burner off and brings the first element on. There we go, yeah, 1400 watts. So now if I switch that to two, that should go up. There we go, that's better over 2000 watts because it's 1800 watts coming from the uh, heater you've got some coming from the fridge and obviously the battery charger as well 9.8 amps all right almost done uh, all of the repairs need doing now so we've got the door retainers to do which i need to order because we haven't got any of them uh, fresh water tank drain leaking so I need to have a look at that uh, it's not leaking rather it's just the little tap on the top leaks and it doesn't seem to want to sort of work properly so I need to have a look at that shower tap which I should be able to put this one on hopefully it'll fit if not I'll have to order one of those uh, cupboard latches need to adjust those all right another day done so got a few more bits to do on this uh, all the checks are done uh, the fan is absolutely fine there's a few little repairs to do but i am good we are gonna have to order parts so probably gonna have to uh, come off this one go on to another one so um, yeah i'll see you later